How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel today. So today we're going to continue reacting to season 4 of My Hero Academia. Well, it feels like literally this has to be the climax coming now because this is everything's been building up. We're pretty much at the last moment now. Mirio is down for the count. Night Eye looks like not good news for him. It looks like we may have lost him. Isa was out. Deku is pretty much on his, you know, last legs. He doesn't, I, I can't see him beating Overhaul, but the face off is happening eri has literally come back to overhaul to try and stop this i think she wants to kind of like make a plea bargain that he will help repair all of them but i honestly don't know how this ends because there there is no good situation that can come of it if overhaul is allowed to leave alive just because there's no end to and you have to like like deku says i'm gonna have to essentially take care of him just before we get into today's video if you would like to see early access double episode versions of all the videos on this channel my patreon is live and down in the description below we have exclusive series discord server roles and a bunch of other cool stuff so if you want to check that out the link is down below but without further ado let's get straight into this shit so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get it oh they got him damn impressive he's huge Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, this quirk drug boosting thing is a game changer. Like, it can thing is is you can think it's just gonna make it's just gonna make you stronger in whatever it is but you don't necessarily know that it could be implemented in a different way you know just it can turn what you might think is a simple quirk into an unsavagely like godly ability so it just to I always have that unknowing like they didn't even expect that that could be a thing and i didn't know that you could take a drug and it kind of lays dormant i thought it was something that would happen quite instantly but obviously not Oh, god damn. So that's how they came through the roof. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. So sick. Such a sick plot twist, man. I honestly didn't see that coming that they would use a, a fake Deku, you know, to try and lure them to the right place, essentially just so they can get Eri. I believe that's what they're trying to get at. I don't know. I could be wrong. Does Night I still survive? What? Oh man, they're teasing us like this. What? We're learning a bit about, more about her now, which is quite cool. And that's kind of a dark past, really. And then she has no real memory of it as well. But, I mean, I like the fact that we're, we're seeing a little bit more than just kind of this girl's getting exploited. We're learning a little bit more about, like, you know, her background and stuff like that. Oh, man. She's gonna jump. She is. And Overhaul's not aware? I was gonna say, this seems a bit easy. <laughs> The use of music here is insane. 
But they are high up. Oh shit. Is he gonna get away? Are they gonna be able to stop him? Man, what an ability to have to just be able to repair like that. This is a dangerous situation for Deku, really, because I'm sure that this just means he's just going to go into free fall while he's got her, but now both of them in danger. I think that's pretty much what's happening here, but at the same time, yes, he's rescued her, but Overhaul's looking like he's going to be able to get away, and I don't think that's a very good situation to have. Of course, it's probably a better situation than him getting away with Eri, but man, this is kind of fucked up. It's got to be because of her, right? What the hell? Oh shit, he sounded... demonic. Oh my god! What the hell? That's messed up. Oh man, look at this. This means he can go crazy with his one for all. Look, he can go full mad. Oh man. Ooh. <laughs> The idea of being able to go a hundred percent is this is the first time that like Deku's really been able to be free without like you knowing that there is no consequence almost physically for him, which kind of like lets him off the leash a little bit. He always had that before, whether it was the tournament, even once he got the boots on, like it still wasn't ever gonna be a hundred percent until now. Put a taster out there, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Damn, that is literally like complete power when you think about it because you, you monopolize everything. That's genius. Oh, so he clearly did go against him then. What? God, this is dark as shit. Oh, this is nuts. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God, look at this. God damn. So maybe the future can be changed. Holy shit. 
Holy shit, well, there you have it. That was intense as hell. Does that mean the overhaul is really done? Does this also mean that that, that All Might can be saved? Does, does this prove that Night Eye's future isn't definite? And what does this mean going forward now that we've got Eri? Does this mean that we can get more out of our quirks now? Like the, the way that like Deku would not have been able to, to overcome Overhaul without her help. Whether she knowingly knows how she's using her quirk or not. There's no way without her cooperation this didn't happen. But this is a complete, this completely changes everything. This was the first time we had any doubt that the future can be changing it looks like it can let me know down in the comments below what has been your favorite moment with overhaul so far let me know what you think of Aerie's ability to help Deku. How do you think it could be maximized? Let me know down in the comments below. But with that said, that is absolutely everything for this video. So guys, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up down below. It really, really does help the channel out. But until next time, I'll see you soon. Peace.